Welcome into the Husky Pulse Game Show, everybody. Just a minute here, Darius, we'll get everyone in. <clears throat> All right, it looks like we have uh, everyone that we're looking for here. We're gonna start with the uh, Husky uh, student athletes uh, tonight and we have uh, Darius Bean to open up. Uh, at this time, we're gonna take questions. So put in the chat or raise your hand to uh, be unmuted and ask your question. And also just a reminder that this uh, Zoom meeting is being recorded and will be posted later on YouTube. Uh, go ahead and uh, let me know who has who has a question for Darius. All right, Eddie Carifio from the Daily Chronicle, go ahead. Hey Darius, um, you just scored a uh, layup there with, with about I don't know about three forty-five left when they were making their run. They kind of um, you know they got a backup date. How are you guys feeling at that point? Uh, we were feeling good still. Uh, I mean, we let them cut into the lead, but we were still looking to be aggressive. And, uh, you know, things just didn't turn out the way we wanted. What did you say it cost you down the stretch as a team? Repeat that, Eddie. I'm sorry. What would you say it cost you uh, guys as a team down the stretch there? Uh, just we weren't getting stops. And then they started hitting uh, threes. And, uh, you know, we just uh, stopped being, you know, aggressive and, uh, looking to score the ball. So, what do you guys uh, take out of this one? I guess uh, you can't win a championship in one game, so we just got to keep pushing. We are gonna get better. Yeah, we'll cut down on the turnovers and just uh, you know stay the course. Okay, thank you. Okay, we'll go to Brandon Suarez from Huskies on Tap. Hey, Darius. How are you doing today? Good evening. I'm good, man. So you guys obviously jumped out to a 20-point lead in the first half. I won't go full negative. What would you guys say you did right in the first half, and how can you do that in your second game going, for, or going forward? We came out just looking to get stops. Uh, that was our main goal. Um, and we did that. And then the second half, we kind of eased up. They started catching fire. And from there on, we were looking to attack, and we couldn't finish. But we'll get better. And then obviously uh, in the media day, they talked a lot about Eugene German. There was a lot of questions about him. How would you guys feel you fared with a more even, evenly distributed offensive and defensive attack this first game? Oh, it felt a lot different, but uh, everybody, you know, uh, just looked to attack. You know, we lost the best score in the MAC last year. So we're just looking to be aggressive and, uh, you know, just feed off each other. Thanks, Darius. No problem. Anyone else have a question for Darius? All right, Darius, thank you very much. Appreciate it. You can move on and we will bring in uh, Tyler Cochran. Tyler, thank you for being with us uh, tonight. And uh, um, we'll go ahead and go to uh, Mark Gregory from Bugle Newspapers, uh, who has a question for Tyler. Hey, Tyler, how you doing? Uh, hey, just uh, talk about, you know, a little bit tonight and just you guys kind of getting in, in, you know, that first game roles and everything. I, mean, I know you kind of look like kind of where you were last year on the bench, you know, high numbers, high energy guy. Is that kind of what you're expecting for yourself to, to, to kind of energize, you know, and, and be part of this team this year? Oh, Tyler, you're muted. Uh, we're losing. We don't have Tyler's uh, audio, so. Sorry, Tyler, you're muted. 
All right, now you're good. You know? <laughs> yeah, we got you. I don't know. My job really is just to do whatever coach or your team needs me to do. You know, whether it's come off the bench, starting, uh, playing defense, in shots, whatever. And just everybody's fitting off each other, you know. Go ahead, Mark, if you have another question. Hey, just, I mean, so just you know, talk about just you know, tonight then. I mean, you guys, you know, got up. and I, I, I mean, this is, is it, you know, obviously the outcome you want, but just for a first game, I'm sure, you know, the tale to have shows you guys what you can do to play really well together and what you have to, you know, work on to, to not allow something to happen. So, I mean, you know, outcome, you know, aside, I, I, obviously a, a game that shows you guys both sides of what you have to do. Right. Um, you got to credit USC for uh, playing over 40 minutes. You know, we got to a great start, you know, we up 20, and we got a little relaxed. And then USC came, and they put their heads down, no problem. They came out, and, you know, they played hard enough. Okay, Mark. Uh, anyone else? Okay, let's go to uh, Eddie Carifio from the Daily Chronicle. Go ahead. Questions for Tyler. Hey, Tyler, just in the second half there, and they were making their run. Um, you guys got a layup, get pushed it back out to eight. Maybe it answered a couple of their possessions in a row. Um, how are you feeling at that point? Up eight, about three forty-five left. Um, honestly, it's, no, it's still the game's forty minutes long. As my coach kept saying, and you, know, you got to. Stayed playing hard all 40 minutes and we can't relax. You know, even though we're up, you got to keep pushing and pushing and we got a little too relaxed. So they kept pounding it and started catching fire in shots. And that's one thing we know we're going to work on as a team is make sure we stay poised, you know, playing all 40 minutes of the game. What, what did you see change for you guys offensively first half to second half? Was it something that wasn't working for you? Was there something they took away from you? What, what kind of change for you guys as a team there? Um, honestly, I think we just stopped being aggressive, you know, or well, we were hunting shots more as our coach said in the locker room, um, taking quick shots, you know, we're up and we were taking possessions off thinking that it didn't matter because we were up and slowly USC was coming back and maybe, you know, five point game turned to a two point game and then we're up and down. So we just got to stay the course and keep playing hard all 40 minutes, like I said. Okay, thanks. All right, we'll go to uh, Brandon Suarez from Huskies on tap. Hey Tyler, great game tonight. Appreciate first you. first and foremost, um, obviously like like everyone else said, you know, you jump out to that 20 point lead in the first half. You guys have everything firing, you know, you're making all your shots, you're playing great defense. What can you guys sit back and take away from this game to make sure that a 20 point lead doesn't evaporate like that? Um, my thing is if we're up 20, um, let's push it to 25. Honestly, keep playing hard. Playing smart and aggressive and staying playing our style of basketball, and I think we kind of got away from that as time goes on. And one thing we got to do, honestly, is keep playing defense the whole time. You know, getting stops, you know, picking each other up, you know, keeping the same energy as we had in the first half. And here from last year, we kind of, if we were up in the first half or anything happens, we would kind of get away from that. You know, we're up, and, you know, we're taking possessions off. So one thing we got to take away from this is don't get relaxed. You know, it's a forty-minute game, as I keep saying. We got to play all forty minutes. And then last question here, uh, you know, for those, those of us that were at the convo, there was, you know, no shortage of noise coming from the UIC bench. How can we make sure that our Huskies are, you know, if they're not in the game, they're still in tune with everything going on and making a lot of noise for you guys? Um, honestly, that's just it's really a self thing. You know, everybody, uh, one thing that everybody's do is buy into the, for the team, you know, whether you're on the floor or on the bench with the coaching staff, where you are. Is really just buying into it, you know, because we have no crowd and we got to create up our own energy. Thanks, Tyler. Appreciate you. All right. If we have uh, no more questions for Tyler, last call. All right, Tyler, thank you very much for joining us. Have a good night. Thank you. All right. Next, we're going to have Caleb Thornton uh, be with us. Hi, Caleb. Thank you for joining us. Um, we're going to have a question here for you from uh, Mark Gregory from Bugle Newspapers. Go ahead, Mark. Hey, Caleb. How you doing, man? Uh, obviously, I came out to watch watch you and Ty. I have to tell you guys of Bolingbrook all them years. Um, talk about just the uh, you know the the energy and you know for you coming in and, and how, I mean obviously no 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 fans here, but for you coming in and you know the, the first D one game I hear. How was that to, to kind of get you know get that game under your belt tonight? 
It was a great experience, you know, something that, you know, as a kid that plays basketball and works as hard as I do, uh, you dream of doing, getting out there on the floor and, you know, trying to help my team win. So it was a dream come true for me, even though I didn't get the exact outcome that I wanted. And I mean, obviously, you know, looks like, you know, you, 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 with, with some good guards out there, I mean, you know, coaches, you have, have you guys all kind of, kind of, you know, inter inter intertwine and switching. So looks like it, it's going to be, you know, something where, you know, you'll be, be able to, to get in there with them guards and, and you know, and, and compete, put up some, 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 you know, energy, some points this year and, you know, help the team win. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that's all I want to do is help us win, like you said. Um, whether it's coming off the bench, whether it's not playing and just being on the bench and giving us energy, as I heard uh, somebody else was talking about, uh, whatever I could do to help us win, uh, whatever I could do to help NIU, you know, that's all I want to do. How much does it ease the transition here with, you know, Tyler, you know, coming in? Where obviously, you know, you guys know each other you know, pretty well and play together, you know, um, for the Raiders. I mean, does that, does that ease this thing? And I mean, tonight you got there playing against Kirk, who you guys have, have seen before. So, you know, I mean, here's your first game, and there's a lot of familiar faces out there, huh? Yeah, absolutely. A lot of Chicago guys. It's always great to, um, you know, see these guys that you've been playing against since middle school, you know, high school, like with Tavion. And uh, Tyler definitely made that transition easier, um, having somebody that I played with in high school for two years. Um, a great teammate, you know, great person, a person I consider a brother. So that definitely made this transition easier and helped my uh, decision in coming here. Good luck the rest of the way, man. Thank you. Hold on, uh, we have a question for you now from uh, Kyle Mathis. Let's go ahead, Kyle. Yeah, um, thank you. I just have a quick question. Um, I know you might not be happy with the outcome, but I noticed in the first half the defense was, uh, was, was really good. You forced four turnovers and also shot clock violations. So how do you think that you guys as a team defensively can uh, take that in, into the next game and improve? Well, we pride ourselves on our defense. It's defense first, stops first. Um, I think we showed that in the first half, not as much in the second. Um, but I believe if we could take what we did in the first half and just build upon it um, into the year, we showed how good of a team we could be, you know, holding the team to under 20 points. And we've got to credit UIC for, you know, coming back and playing all 40 minutes as we talked about in the locker room. Um, so I just want to build upon that first half and, you know, keep it going. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Okay, uh, Mark, are you all set or do you have any other questions? No, all good. Thanks a lot. All right. Thanks very much, Caleb. Thank you. And I'm not sure if Coach Montgomery is here yet, but as soon as he is uh, off the radio and uh, he will be joining us. Oh, here he is. Very good. Coach, thank you very much uh, for uh, being with us on Zoom tonight. And uh, we'll let you go ahead and start off with a statement about tonight's game. You know, unfortunately, it's a tale of uh, two halves. I thought we played our best basketball uh, in the first half where, especially on the defensive end, we hold them to 23% from both the two and the three. I thought we got out in transition. I thought we shared the ball. We had a better offensive flow. Fortunately, it's, you know, it's a 40 minute game. Um, we took our um, foot off the pedal. Uh, UIC made some plays. We had some breakdowns. Um, we just didn't flow as well in the second half, but you know, it's going to be a long season. Um, you can see that um, um, with this team definitely can do um, more all on the same page in that first 20 minutes. We're going to build on that and uh, go from there. Okay, we'll take the questions at this time for Coach Montgomery. Uh, please let us know with a note in the chat. Uh, we're going to have a first question from Brandon Suarez of Huskies on Tap. Go ahead, Brandon. Hey, Coach, you talk about, you know, it's a tale of two halves. You guys played arguably the best first half that you've seen here in your time at NIU. What were some of the great things that you saw from that first half, and how can you build on that going into game number two? Well, just our defense. We're on the string. Um, we're rebounding. We're getting out and running. Uh, the bench came in. They gave us a huge uh, boost. Um, we just we just flowed. I mean, it was we're playing selfless basketball and we're playing hard. And I thought uh, you, know, you can just see when you're up twenty at halftime what's 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 possible. Fortunately, in the second half, um, and I told my team it's they're not going to give up. It's going to be runs in basketball game, and 
I don't think we just we didn't get ourselves going in the second half and you know still with 16 minutes to go we're up 22 and um, I think they cut it to nine and we went back up to about 16 or 17 so you know we're gonna learn from this Got a lot of uh, a lot of new players but um, we don't make excuses UIC definitely made uh, more plays down the stretch than we did and we're gonna go back to the drawing board watch film get back at it and uh, be ready for SIUE come Wednesday. Yeah, and then obviously with this being the first game without Eugene German, how do you feel the team felt or how do you feel the team performed? Uh, obviously not having that one go-to guy to score as far as uh, distributing the basketball and getting everyone involved. Well, it was a lot better in the first half. I mean, we still had three guards and double figures. Trenton had 10, Bean had 13, and Tyler Cochran. We want to get a few more post touches and, and have even more balance. I think this team can have five or six double figure scores because – um, that's what kind of team we're going to be on. So you can't, you know, just key on, on one guy. Um, you know, on the German situation, you know, down the stretch, you would have probably made a play. But I thought we got good shots down the stretch. Unfortunately, they didn't go in. Uh, Bean is a go-to player. I thought Trenton Hankerson had an unbelievable first half, and he guarded him a lot closer in the second half. He's going to be able to make some plays. Tyler Cochran always makes some plays. But you know what? We're going to play a little more inside out and um, – we got to get the ball swung side to side. We didn't do that as well in the second half. But like you said, it's the first game. Uh, no scrimmages. It was good to play against another opponent. Um, but at least we know what we're capable of. And, um, you know, it's going to hit home that you have to play 40 minutes of basketball. You, you can't relax. And every possession matters. And after watching, you know, when the guys watch the film on Friday, they can figure that out. Thanks, Coach. Okay, we'll go to uh, Eddie Carifio from the Daily Chronicle. Hey, Coach, you kind of touched on it a little bit there with the uh, your front court players. Looks like you know most of the scoring came from the guards. Um, you mentioned wanting to get them involved more. Was that just kind of flow of the game thing, where um, they didn't get as many shots, or was that something UIC was doing? What was what was it you saw out of that? Our guards can have some. You know, we can have a little more patience and. You know, I can run a few more plays where we have to punch it. Um, I think the start of our guards were, you know, turning the corner and making plays. Um, you know, we only shot, it's not like we shot a lot of threes. We only shot 10 triples. So, you know, we were getting paint touches and we have to have a, you know, we have to find a way to finish those shots. But to be a good team, um, you got to have, you got to have a post presence. And I know Kingsley can score down there. Dong can score down there, Zul. So, so we have some capable post, post players. Um, so our guys just have to slow down a little bit. And I can do a better job coaching the game and making sure they get some touches and, you know, we keep uh, other teams' defenses on us. That's what I had. Thanks. All right, we'll go to uh, Kyle Mathis from uh, the Northern Star. Kyle, you should yep, go ahead. Hi, Coach. Um, I noticed that uh, you guys shot 53% from the field in the first half and the second half, you shot seven for 27. Um, what would be some ways offensively that you'd be able to uh, increase that field goal percentage, uh, per particularly in the second half for the next upcoming game? I want to go back and look at the film, but just, you know, you know, it's a blur right now because, you know, like it wasn't, we only shot three, three threes in the second half. So it wasn't, we we're selling for three point shots. You know, we have to finish those inside shots. I thought we had a couple bad rolls and, you know, some, some, some opportunities where, you know, you know, we had eight turnovers in the second half. We only had four at halftime. So we have to go look at that. Um, but we didn't get it. We didn't find our offensive rhythm in the second half, unfortunately. And we're going to do a better, a better job with that. We will find that. So, you know, when it's your number called and opportunity strikes, you got to knock it down. And fortunately, we didn't knock down enough shots. But, you know, when you don't make a three and UIC makes seven of them, you know, you do the math, that's, you know, that's 21 points that you're trying to make up. So the defense has to be a lot better in the second half. Um, and, and it definitely will be come on Wednesday night. Yeah, thank you. Um, 
Yeah, sorry. I just had one more question. Okay, go um, ahead, Kyle. So, so can you take me through the, the last play where you guys turned it over and then the foul on the other end? Um, what, was the, what, what was the play call on that play? The last play when we turned it over. Um, it was uh, over down three and with 11 seconds to go and they elected to foul. So it looked like it was going to be a turnover. They fouled. And unfortunately, we, you know, we split those free throws. Now the possession after that, when they were up four, um, you know, hard to get a four-point play that late. But I guess uh, I think maybe Hankerson had the ball and he just kind of, and they kind of lost the ball, unfortunately. If that's the play you're, you're yeah. talking about. Uh, yeah, sorry. I guess I wasn't specific enough. So you guys were up by one, and it was at the top of the key, and Michael Diggins from UIC stole it and got fouled on the other end. What was the okay. call on that play? Yeah. So that possession there, we ran a high ball screen, and they doubled um, Darius Bean. So we found uh, Kingsley in the pocket, and you know I think the pass was just a little low, and he kind of just bobbled it. And... Maybe, you know, he has to meet the ball. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't a clean thing. Um, you know, we wanted Darius to get downhill and make a play. And actually, he made an unselfish play where he hit the open man. It just wasn't a, um, a clean catch. But um, we still had a chance to get a stop. Um, and unfortunately, we didn't get that stop. If yeah. that's the thing you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, thank you, Coach. All right, and now we have uh, Mark Gregory from the Bugle newspapers. Go ahead, Mark. Hi, Coach. It, it seemed like, you know, part of, and, um, you know, you would obviously know better than me, but part of the second half run by them, uh, you know, Kirk for USC seemed to kind of get more, in more of a rhythm as the game went on. He's a guy, obviously, that you guys have seen, you know, a couple of years ago at, at Ohio. Was, it, was he somebody who you guys were, were kind of, you know, you know, looking for because it said it seemed like he didn't score as much, but he was kind of getting some of those 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 kicks to threes and everything. It seemed like as he kind of went along in that second half, that's when they got some some more of their open shots. Well, definitely they started going to that high ball screen. And he was going downhill. He found their big over the top for a few, and we didn't attack the lob. And then all of a sudden he got to the paint, and then we we're you know we we're collapsing. And then he's very unselfish player. You know, he had nine assists. And, uh, you know, we just got to get back in front of them and contest those passes. But, you know, Kirk's a very good player. He's a good player at Ohio where he averaged 15 and nine. And, uh, you know, he didn't play last year at Colorado State, but um, you know, we had film on Kirk. You know, this wasn't a, um, you know, we don't make any excuses. You know, coming in, new coach, new, you know, new system, no film on him. Um, you just have to, trust your defense and trust your coverages and, you know, credit, you know, I thought our guys did a great hat, a great job in the first half. And um, I definitely look at the second half and I thought some adjustments we made fortunately didn't work, but, you know, it's part of basketball and we still had an opportunity to win, but uh, Kirk is a, you know, he's been in college four years, so he's a seasoned player that um, he definitely stepped up in the second half for them. Any other questions for Coach Montgomery? All right, Coach, we appreciate uh, you being with us tonight. Thanks very much and have a great Thanksgiving. Okay, thanks. I appreciate the time.